there's miscommunication in terms of how people are playing different situations. When you think about the K Serato double entry in the previous round, when you think about Yuri dropping on towards roof, being able to take out Wonderful with the off, which decks the four versus five here. With speed behind this one, but they're slowing it down so well on the CT side. That's the kind of round that actually can be dangerous, and maybe it still is. Frozen. Oh, he's gonna get one more. How did they break through? Frozen. He's blown up the defense on the A side, and now Vex site. He's coming through on a bit of a flank, but he's got no teammates left alive. Has Frozen just found the cure to get, get Faze back into this? Yeah, Alistair had to hit that second shot. They were doing well with those crossfires once again, but Vexai, he's in a very difficult spot around this. He'll throw the incendiary in towards heaven, but uh, with the bomb planted in a pretty difficult spot, they'll probably take him down before he even gets close to it. They're starting to panic somewhat. They seem to know he's off the bomb, though. That's going to be a great opening kill. Is there anything he can do with this? The HE's not going to help him out too much. The flashbang might. Knives are coming out. Oh, what? no. It's going to be another round for fly combo. Can't go back. Has to go forward. Has found another smoke. Could go for a redeploy towards CT spawn. Monacy can break it, but he's coming from Banana. Cannot assist Malbs right now. An extra smoke does enable some play potential. Hesitance from G2. Want to play this right. Want to finish in regulation. So much hinging off of this one versus two oh. and spam through the smoke, but he doesn't have the confirmation. Too far away. Blitz now 50 HP to come up clutch and force OT. Will he get this duel? It's Monacy with the AWP and Patience, the name of the game. Smoke now fades, headshot found, Blitz can reposition. It's taking shape, the 1v3, just one more to find. It's Malz with his nader and Blitz says, let's go! Well, he's carrying the bomb. They might be are covering both bomb sites, but that means they are spread quite thin in this scenario. There's some good area control as well. Good read from Chopper. Sound cues if he wants it. And now he's got just a few seconds to try and isolate a fight. Oh, catches one throwing a grenade. They might line up for him very nicely indeed. The last one coming out of the vent is a disaster for us. They scramble in towards the bomb site. Shadow advantage. Meiji goes down. It's going to be surely a guaranteed round here. Zaiwu, though, if he finds the bomb somehow, there's only 10 seconds remaining. Sneak it up behind. He's hit that one. Six seconds oh, left. The bomb does get planted, but you're absolutely right. If he'd stopped the bomb there, there was a way. And maybe there still is. Flank coming in on the one side. Slacks up here, almost peeking. I think Saibu saw the gun barrel there, ready to take his head right off. Oh my god. And now it's Wreck with the flank. He's walking up behind him and he's found Saibu. That's no. a difficult shot for Mezzi. Would have been a key frag. Would have really turned the tide of battle. He does make up for it in the end. Does find the AWP of Slacks and flames through the smoke. Uh, before I can even get a sentence out all the round, winning frags are coming over as now Swisher making a ton of noise. Flame shot. Should be in the operative word. Let's see if oh, he's potentially got the bomb. He doesn't know it. Didn't spot it. One versus one again. I mean, we had this last round. It was Cyber that won it. For the sake of sanity here, hopefully Swisher can find some of the, the AWP. I think he's heard him. I think he's done. I think he will. Oh, oh no. no. Not known to be an AWP, I suppose. Yeah, you're right. But he had heard him. He definitely knew. And now Mezzi just moving on up. Remember, Swisher is very low on health. So if he misses another shot, it might be all done with. He's got the right idea. He knows that he's down there. He hasn't scoped up. And there we go. Have to force through this. Making good use of the little beautiful Monacy punishes onto Blitz. That orb. Now a real threat towards the main position. Monacy remains composed. But how has he not gone down to that one? Headshot angle. And hell. a Justin to Mazzino. <laughs> Monacy farming. He was under so much pressure there. Multiple players, Molly at his feet, but composure. Over here for Furia, lack of kit is nah, a problem. It's done. And they are locked out by that smoke. They have a grenade to blow it open, but they need this kill on JL. And he holds down just one. Bit now in a position at control room where he can take out the ramp player. And he's in a very good spot it's... to try and deny the defuse. They're going to stick it, but the time is gone. And Bit has won this, just staying alive for now. Well, there is a, uh, a Fury player hanging around. It's Skulls, but he's not spotting too much. So. No, they've made the safe call. They're like, you have two armor, that you, two pieces of armor. Okay, uh, wait. Nope, they no, haven't they're not. quite they're yet. There's a it. kit on Fallen and a smoke too. So they want to go for this. Bit goes aggressive. Skulls, if you hit that flick, then Fury are right back into it. But now it seems unlikely, but Fallen keeps proving us wrong with every step forward. Smoke inside of the site. No Deep Fuse being way. stuck. Fallen holding it all the way, but at last second knife from Bit. Make it a <laughs> Double. That's where they're headed. Okay. 
And Malbs, he's on the receiving end of a barrage of HE grenades. Down he goes. Hunter comes out of his hidey hole for one. And now Darn, they're into the site. <laughs> they're doing it, Chad. They've taken the A-bomb site by for it. And now the crunch is on. 40 seconds getting shot in the back. Sin, he's patiently waiting by the... Uh, yeah, I understand. No one's checking him. He would have peeked already. They're shooting his team in the back and still he didn't move. Knife is out. Stabbing inside of the smoke. Oh, Saru, he's finally... And they've even got the AWP here on the back platform, protected by the rifles around him. It's James to strike through the darkness. It's two kills locked in for the sniper. And Elysia's left with 20 seconds and four VP players looking directly at him. This is going to be so hard for Elysia to even take a step closer to the bomb site. But Elysia has got some heroics left in him. It's two kills and one low HP Norbert at the back of the site. Oh, Elysia! He's found him as well. He's on for all five here, Elysia. <gasps> and he's faked the plan. He got him in. And that was nearly an absolutely heroic moment for... Rely on Yuri to come and help him from short. So Jello has to peel away with one. Absolutely nails the kill on bit, but then repeaks unnecessarily. Yeah, and that is going to give those kills back to Navi in an instant. Yeah, that repeat can't happen. That's a disaster. That, that's the that's the losing play because Yuri then gets limited in how he can play the situation. That repeat costs Furia okay, so Kesserano. much. He's right back into this one. Nine seconds, limited time here for Navi to get that ball down and Casarano from the depths of hell. Allzerk as both Alpers miss their chances. 30 seconds though for complexity, that's starting to become a problem. Time is certainly limited. JT charge in, oh, ineffective in taking Fame out of there, and that smoke keeps Halzerk back. The split is ineffective. Fame is shutting down this complexity attack, and with 15 seconds left, Fame dismantles the whole squad. It's Grim with no time left, not a hope in hell, and he is going to die in a mere moment as well. He needs to die before the time. He's got to die before the time. So, Navi, how do they get back into this? Ima and JL starting to move forward just now. Oh, That's the one way to do it. Oh my god, there's time for this as well. Yuri looking to step up and save the disaster of a 13-0 loss. There's the first kill in the seconds. Quick from Yuri. It is for uh, getting the pistol. It's not bad. Drop down below half health. We've seen some nice nades today. Getting players down to the 40s health-wise, but look at that. Magic does get picked off. The smoke is up, but Zontix has to be careful, and the spray is fantastic. Zontix with a quick triple, and that might deny everything on this B site. The bomb's been dropped. Oh, my oh. God. Absolutely savage. He'll be looking for the ace now as well, Zontix, and he might just find it. Nope. Yeah, at some point. Uh, certainly going to become a priority soon. It looks like it's been techno tasked with the retrieval. Blitz has found a ridiculous headshot to get this back into level pegging. Looks like they have to go A. Hunter overlooked on Cold Zera, criminally undeclared. Nico builds upon it, but hang on. 9 10 removes Nico from the picture. It's Techno from this elevated angle, pre aimed, but controls the spray. Knows there's potential second on the site. He was last seen Cold Zera, now tucked and staring at the floorboards. Mounts up, finds the timing. Good flash work from Monacy. Can Techno do the clutch? Oh! What a shot! That's this! And Dexter's jumped right down. I don't think Rain even realized Dexter running wild in the back line. Two kills, nearly a third. Brokey getting grenaded all the way down. Oh, he is gosh. so lightning quick. It's Kerrigan to get the headshot on Liaz. And I don't know how this has happened, but we've ended up in a two on three that favors phase at the moment. The bomb being run back. Alistair knows he has to get activated. And in he's holding that B bomb side, but he can't really do it alone. It was looking like a done deal. The round was over, then Brokey starts to do Brokey things. Absolutely disgusting with the AWP in towards those canal position ends. The best player on paper for FlyQuest hasn't necessarily been to there. It's going to be Dexter with 27 kills. But now Alistair coming in. Nice little need to pop the smoke open and ends will find a frag back in return. They're down but not out. The boys can keep the dream alive here. 15 seconds to go. Brokey needs to try and finish things off and Anders, he does it in fire. However, lacking fire power. Up banana, oh. testing the util. This could end very quickly as the SMG from Snacks only gets the one. And Nico goes down. They weren't ready for Hunter, but he's gone too. Senzu's Tech 9 rips into the B site. And they're back in with a chance to find the ninth. Just painting a picture around them was Hunter. Great angle with the spray. Magic's completely repositioning. They don't know where Chopper is. He's been all over the shop in the last minute. He's got a very good angle now as well. Look at this positioning from these two. It is fantastic. And I don't know if it might be our survive to say both got kits. So nice shoulder peek though. Magix has got one more to find. 
disengaging throwing a he to the side before he exit even gets there we have a chance to even touch the bomb magix is absolutely griefing him and he's done enough to win that last round eight to four in favor of spirit a very strong